According to an old, half-serious joke, the best place to look for oil is in an oil field. That knee slapper was funnier when oil and gas companies deemed looking for oil to be the essence of their business. No less now than ever, of course, companies want to produce all the oil they profitably can, but they're less eager than they once were to explore. Modern investors harbor diminished patience for the swashbuckling oil finder who boasts of guzzling risk for breakfast. In the continuous reservoirs of unconventional plays, rearrange priorities. With shales and oil sands, the problem is not finding hydrocarbons, the problem is figuring out how to move them to surface. What's really alluring about unconventional resources is that the volumes of oil and gas in place are huge. What's really puzzling is quantity producible at a profit. These mysteries underlie the International Energy Agency's new warning about slumping investment in global exploration. Total oil discovered last year fell to a record low 2.4 billion barrels after averaging 9 billion barrels a year for the past 15 years. The decline reflects sharply shrunken budgets for conventional projects, a product of depressed oil prices. Conventional resources sanctioned for development fell 30% last year to 4.7 billion barrels, and the number of projects receiving final investment approval dropped to its lowest total since the 1940s, IEA said. In contrast, investments in U.S. shale projects rebounded sharply in 2016, and output rose as production costs fell by 50% against 2014 levels. Growth notwithstanding, U.S. output from shale remains far below global production from investment lean conventional resources, 6.5 million barrels a day versus 69 million barrels a day. A market expected to grow by 1.2 million barrels per day each year worldwide during the next five years, therefore must rely on the continued expansion of a new supply component of untested scope and durability. This, IEA duly notes, is precarious but companies know where much of the oil is. And with supply from unconventional resources, most surprises so far have been on the high side. I'm Bob Tippy, editor of Oil & Gas Journal, and that's the editor's perspective, appearing first in text at www.ogj.com on April 28, 2017.